Morning guys. Well, this morning I popped into my office out in the cabin at the end of the garden and I had a fantastic email arrive. It was essentially just an email from GitHub giving me an update status on a request I went through, oh, let me see, back on the 5th of Feb. And wow, I am so happy. So essentially what I asked for was an update to the multi-protocol module that's inside the jumper radios, or in fact, all these little multi-protocol modules. And what I really wanted was for the Spectrum protocol to become enabled as essentially as a um, receiver protocol. So to date, they have had um, FlySky and FreeSky. Now, effectively, that means you can bind a different FlySky or FreeSky transmitter to your radio and use it as a buddy box. Well, I put a request and say, can you do this for the Spectrum protocol? So for DSM2. And I was told, yep, it's in the pipeline. Don't worry about it. Not a high priority right now. We'll get on with it. And well, I received an email today saying, oh, done. And that is fantastic. Now, the reason I am so happy about it is this. So some might recognize it. This is my wireless head tracker module that I designed. And it pops on the back of my head over here. And it talks currently using the FreeSky protocol to my jumper radio. Um, and internally, what I've got is a multi-protocol module from one of the sort of JR module bays, which is kind of running the entire size of this. And then I've also got um, a Trinity head tracker. However, you can also use these, and I have very successfully used these, which is the, um, uh, this is the Hobby King equivalent, which is based on the open source project works it's kind of it's just as good the the reason i use the trinity in here is got more to do with the fact that the trinity seems to be a little less prone to interference than this one is but um the curious thing is in static bench tests i did this didn't have that noise and it only generated the noise when i started using the multi-protocol module um and I did actually try, you know, to give you a bit of back history, I did try a different solution to this and I had no noise. It was spot on and perfect. So long and short, what I was doing at that point in time, I was wiring this little module into the back of a little DSM2 transmitter. And if I pop up on my screen over here, you can see you can buy these dirt cheap DAS micro sort of um, transmitter modules. It's actually a receiver which has been reflashed with a firmware to act as a transmitter module. So for 12 quid, you can buy one of these, deep in it, wire it in, and from your, your, re your uh, what do you call these things, the um, head tracker module, wire the um, PPM out from that into the PPM in on that um, receiver module, and off you go. You can kind of get a wireless head tracker working over a short distance. Fantastic! You know, and these are designed as short range, sort of 30 meter odd transmitter modules. Perfect. And I didn't get any noise. But I kind of, the problem is, is I had to wire a DSM receiver and hardwire it into the trainer port on my radio. And then somewhere along the line, what happened is um, the multi-protocol module started supporting wireless um, connections and acting as a receiver which made me say, well, now I don't have to wire something in, so I went to this bigger solution. And it works great. But I'll tell you what, one of these little micro receivers and this, I would say that this, you can see how small that there is in comparison. Okay, and do I have something? So we'll use this to represent the DAS micro transmitter module. It's about that size. Now look how small that is compared to that. And the only reason this box is this big is because of the multi-protocol module board. So what I'm actually getting to here, I can shrink this thing down probably 50 to 80%. And that's good news. You know, suddenly I can actually get something really tiny. I, I might be able to put it in a different position on my head rather than on the back. I, I haven't quite worked that out, but I can't wait. So needless to say, I have popped the um, DAS micro modules on Banggood order. I cannot wait to get hold of them. I've got a variety of bits to solder together and hopefully in a few weeks if all the parts arrive on time I'll actually be able to show you something completely new that works well. 
And if it goes really well, we might even have it on the new Radio Master T16 because those are due to arrive imminently. So um, I might show you the whole hog all in one go. Anyway, guys, <laughs> enjoy your day. I have woken up, had some good news, so I'm happy. And um, hopefully you get out and enjoy today's weather. Cheers, guys.